All right, well, welcome back. Uh, you guys have been asking me for an update on the Bermuda mites, so I thought today I would do a quick video um, and let you guys know kind of where it is. I haven't mowed yet, so we'll take a quick look at kind of where they were and, and uh, what it looks like prior to the mow that I'm gonna cut, and then I'll do a quick update um, after I've mown just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like. So let me flip out. And um, now I'm mowing at a higher height and as you can see the lawn definitely needs to be cut and I'm going to get to that here in a minute but if we get into the grass and look I'm not really seeing any mites. This looks kind of like the bunching. So that was definitely part of it, but I it's definitely not as bad. So I don't know if that's just kind of the remnants of them and it's growing out because that's not as tight as it was. And I definitely have a lot better, the grass looks healthier. Um, I'm not seeing a whole bunch of them in here. So even like here, if we pull that out, I think, I think it's having a pretty positive effect on them. You can see how they're not all, I mean, it's definitely, you can see where the, the Bermuda mites were, were impacting it, but it's not having that really tight effect on them like I was seeing before. Um, so I think it's it's working. It's uh, it's been about 20 days since I put the Delta Guard down. So I think the good news is um, I think it's working, but I don't know how well. I think we're gonna have to give it some more time, but it definitely looks healthier. So. Let's give it a cut, and uh, once we have it cut, we'll we'll have a better idea of what it looks like with a little bit shorter. Now I am cutting um, a little over an inch, where before I was cutting around seven eighths, so that would also might have a little bit of an impact on on them. They say to cut shorter when you have Bermuda mites, but um, with this heat, I'm a, we're at 100 degrees every day. I'm just not gonna not going to take it back down after being on vacation so uh, let's get a cut and uh, we'll take another peek all right well, I just got done mowing the back here so we'll uh, we'll check on these Bermuda mites but uh, the lawns looking pretty darn good considering we haven't had rain in over two weeks 100 degree heat um, I'm pretty pleased with uh, where we are I got a couple areas you can see right there that Definitely need a little water, so I'll put some extra water down tonight. Just make sure they're taken care of. Uh, anyway, so to, to dive back into this Bermuda and look at these mites to see if we have any. Let's get in here. So, again, it doesn't look anything, I mean, it definitely looks like witching, but... I can't tell if that's, it looks better. I mean, I, I truly think that it looks like the, uh, like the grass is actually growing. Um, and there's definitely a lot of healthy stolons in here where you're not seeing any witching at all. So um, maybe a little too early to call it success, um, but uh, it's definitely not witching nowhere near as bad as it was. Um, so maybe the Delta X, you know, is, is doing its job. I mean, those blades, I don't know if I can get that on film here. I mean, that, that would have been really stunted in there. And it just looks... A lot healthier you can actually see where it's actually growing up and not all like deformed and 
stunted. So I think uh, I think that's the update, guys. I think so far Delta Guard is done the best. Um, the, the grass is in pretty good shape. I definitely am fighting some some weeds. I got some Dallas grass and a little bit of stress. You can kind of see a little bit of stress in here, definitely over there. So. Uh, thanks for watching guys I uh, appreciate you guys support I'll definitely do another update we'll maybe give it another two weeks and uh, I'll do another update just to kind of keep you guys in the loop of uh, what's going on uh, with the uh, the mites and how Delta Guard is I'm also going to read up and see if I need to do another treatment with it but um, I'll leave you guys with a nice shot of some beautiful Bermuda stripes on a Wednesday afternoon so like subscribe comment let me know what else you'd like to see and I'll keep you guys in the loop on the Bermuda mites hope this helps somebody else and if you guys have any advice I'm taking it see you in the next one